Minute with the Antiques Answer Man. I'm your host, Wayne Cameron. For centuries, people have filled their spare time by playing various games. Today, I want to talk to you about a couple of examples of games that were used. The first one is this game board. Now, this enters into the area of folk art. It's just simply made by putting four boards together, putting a little molding around the outside, marking off the squares, and then hand painting them. Don't know if this was used for checkers or something along that line, but you notice it's got quite a few different little squares, so I think it's a little different game. Not sure what it was. Um, these game boards are, are very kind of crudely made. They're not um, what you would call uh, very commercial. But today, a game board like this, it was made in the mid to late 1800s, likely would fetch somewhere between mm, $250 to $350. The second thing I want to show you is a really nice little all-contained chess set. When you open it up, you see the lovely marbled paper lining. Uh, this shows this piece is probably early 1800s. And um, the game board is actually on the top. As you can see here, the board itself, all nicely inlaid with walnut and satin wood. Then when you pull out the drawer, there's all your handmade or hand-turned game pieces. Now again, this is something people would use when they were traveling, going on a trip, they could take it right along with them, play along the way or when they got there. A really cool little piece with lovely patina. This little piece, probably around 1810, maybe 1820, likely would carry a value up around five or six hundred dollars today. This has been a minute with the Antiques Answer Man and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Checkmate. Okay. You can't do that. Who taught you how to play chess? Don't forget to just subscribe. <laughs>